Hey guys, my name is Max and welcome to Simple Biology. In this video we're going to be talking about bulk transport. By now, we spend a lot of time talking about different ways that the cell uses its membrane to transport different materials uh, in different locations. This, this is the final type of transport uh, in which the cell will actually transport large biomolecules. Now this is different from the other types of transport which only transported very small uh, generally inorganic uh, molecules and compounds because it cannot use uh, transport proteins. The large biomolecules are too large for these transport proteins to handle. So that's why we have bulk transport as another method of transport. The first type of bulk transport is what's called exocytosis. Now as the name suggests, exo meaning out of, this type of bulk tr transport transports materials out of the cell. Uh, it, we've already encountered it before, actually, and it's it's the process by which the cell sec uh, secretes membrane and protein. So, uh, though uh, the, these vesicles coming from the uh, Golgi body and the endoplasmic reticulum, these vesicles will actually spill their contents outside of the cell. Essentially, there's these vesicles that are already in the cell that will fuse membranes with the cell membrane allowing their contents to spill outward out of the cell. That's all there is to exocytosis. The next form of bulk transport is called endocytosis. Again, as the name suggests, this transports materials into the cell. There's two main types of endocytosis, phagocytosis and pinocytosis. Phagocytosis uh, is basically the cell's way of eating. It takes in large pieces of food, stuff that's not dissolved, uh, maybe it's uh, broken down pieces of other cells. There are different types, but phagocytosis takes in very large pieces of food. Essentially, uh, uh, the, uh, the cell membrane will start to bulge inward and allow a, me uh, a membrane to form around this uh, piece of food to form a vesicle around it. Later on, a, uh, a, a organelle called a lysosome will actually fuse membranes with this vesicle in order to digest that food. The other type, like I said, is pinocytosis. And this is the cell's way of drinking, whereas phagocytosis would be the cell's way of eating. In pinocytosis, the cell takes in a lo uh, large amounts of dissolved nutrients. So say there are a, a certain type of nutrient that is found more outside the cell than inside the cell, and the cell needs that nutrient. Well, one way to get it would be to use endocytosis uh, and just form a vesicle in which there will be that nutrient. And then different processes will allow that nutrient to be used. So that's how pinocytosis works. Now a special type of endocytosis is one called receptor-mediated medi endocytosis. Now the reason this uh, particular process is, spe is special is because it has an extra component beyond what's found in endocytosis. If you can see these little brown proteins, uh, they play a fairly big role in receptor-mediated endocytosis. In fact, they're called receptors, which is where the process gets its name. Now, these receptors bind specifically to a certain molecule or compound, uh, in this case, the little red molecules as opposed to the green ones. And uh, by, by doing so, it allows this process to take in one substance in higher proportions. Uh, notice, though, that it will still take in a small amount of all other substances. Uh, it, it's not a perfect process. Essentially, um, these, uh, these receptors will, will be located in a certain area, and they'll bind to these, uh, to these molecules or compounds, which are called ligands when they're binding. And then this, the same process will occur where the, uh, the vesicle will pinch off, and now you have a vesicle, but it has more of the red molecule than the green molecule. So that's really all that's different. Bulk transport is simple as that.